Good morning. It is Thursday. Depending on where you are on the, on the international date line, I guess. Anyway, let's start with this. All God's creators got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing high, or some sing out loud on a telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got. Okay, when I say all God's critters got a place in the choir, some sing low, and I need you can go down low. Some sing higher, put your hands up high and stand up high. Some sing out loud, you go like this and say the word loud. Loud, yeah, can you do that? Loud on a telephone, <clears throat> we'll make an old telephone. Wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they've got. Can we do this? All God's creatures got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud, loud on a telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they've got. Let's see if we can do this. Okay. All God's creatures got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing high. Or some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got. Listen to the bass. It's the one on the bottom where the bullfrog croaks and the hippopotamus moans and groans with a beat. Creator's got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing high, or some sing out loud on a telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything. Last time, all of God's creators got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing high, or some sing out loud. Okay, and Cyrus from the UK is saying hello to everybody. Hey, Cyrus, nice to see you. Okay, happy Thursday, Anthony. Oh yes, choirs are great, Mary. Okay, so let's do a game. <clears throat> the name of this game is called Can You Sound Just Like Me, which is what you have to try and do. There's two parts. The first part is the chorus. It's the same every time it comes around. The only tricky part about the chorus is you have to try and land on the last word of the chorus at the exact same instant that I do. So let's see how it works. <clears throat> Can you sound just like me? Can you sound just like me? Well, let's see. Okay, so you have to try and land on the word C with me, okay? <clears throat> Can you sound just like me? Can you sound just like me? Well, let's 
let's see. Okay. Dooby dooby doo. Dooby dooby doo. Oh! <sighs> yo, yo, yo. Ooey, ooey, ooey. Can you sound just like me? Can you sound just like me? Well, let's see. La 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 la! <gasps> oh yeah! Can you sound just like me? Can you sound just like me? Well, let's see! <clears throat> La 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 la! <laughs> oh yeah! Can you sound just like me? Can you sound just like me? Well, let's see! Alright, you got them all so far, so I'm getting out my tricky ones. Let me see. Skip a little bit. Okalaka Suri Vaka. Obadai Badiddly Oleo. Piddly Biddly Bumshu. Oompla Bapinka Bapunkin. Did you get that one? That's hard. Oompla Bapinka Bapunkin. <laughs> Can you sound just like me? You know, you sound just like me. Yes, sir. Shoo wee. It's easy. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. All right, let's check in. Let's see how many we got here. We have Laylee and Lynn from Columbus, Ohio. And Mona and Raina Rose are in sunny but below zero Minnesota. <clears throat> yay. And Jan, Fraser, Stanley, David Coward is... Saying he's uh, loving all God's critters. We do that in their choir. Excellent. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see. Hey, Linda. Nice to see you. I thought we might do this song with a couple of variations. All right. <clears throat> so this is an old Woody Guthrie song. And his, uh, his version was, let's go ride in a car car. Let's go riding in a car car. Let's go riding in a car car. Let's go riding in a car. Let's try some different ones. Let's go riding in a truck. But wait a minute, oh, you gotta climb up into the cab. Climb up into the cab. Big truck. You're gonna drive a big truck. You're sitting on the seat. Put on your seatbelt. Put your hands on that big wheel. And you know, the truck has a thing. Have you, ever, have you ever been on the freeway when somebody, you pass a truck and he, you're waving at him and he blows his horn? <laughs> like that? They make a lot of noise. Let's try it. Let's go riding in a truck. Let's go riding in a truck. Let's go riding in a great big truck. Let's go riding on a train. Let's go riding on a train. What kind of a train noise does a train make? Let's go riding on a train. Let's go riding on a train. Let's go riding on a long train. Gonna be 
tricky. You know what an EV is? It's an electric car, an electric vehicle. The thing about electric vehicles is they're really quiet. <gasps> we have one and uh, we love it. It's the best car I ever had. So let's see, let's go riding in an EV car. Let's go riding in an EV car. Let's go riding in an EV car. Gotta listen carefully. Pretty quiet, very quiet. <laughs> Let's go riding on a motorcycle. Let's go riding on a motorcycle. Let's go riding on a motorcycle. Put your hands on the handlebars. Wait a minute, you gotta have your helmet on. Do you have a helmet on? Put your helmet on. You can't go on a motorcycle without a helmet. Put your hands on the handlebars. Start it up. Ready? Let's Let's go riding on a motorcycle. Let's go riding on a motorcycle. Let's go riding on a motorcycle. We're talking about all these different ways of getting around. How about our feet? How about our, oh, I have special socks on today. Can you, you can't see them. I can't get high enough. There you go. You got a quick look at my blue and white cloud socks. Let's go walking on our feet. Let's go walking on our feet. Let's go walking on one, two feet. Here we go. Choo, choo, choo. What sound are you making with your feet? a long way on our feet. I love to take hikes on my feet. Yes, feet. They're amazing things. Yeah, you know what I love to do sometimes? Not today if it's below zero, but on a nice warm day is take my shoes and my socks off and walk around on the grass or on the rocks. Feel the earth underneath my feet. Yeah, I love that. Okay, well last time. Here we go. Let's go riding. Well, how about a horse? A big old, big brown horse, his name is Jake. Go ahead, you can go up to him. Put your head, put, you can pet him. He's a nice horse. Yeah, Jake. Okay, you gotta climb up in the saddle, get somebody to help you up. Okay, up on the horse's saddle. Gotta pick up those reins. Okay, all right, Jake, let's go riding, okay? Come on, Jake. Come on, Jake. I said, let's go riding. Come on. Give him a little, little uh -huh. okay, no. What's the matter, Jake? Come on. Let's go. Oh, oh, let's go riding on a horse. Oh, let's go riding on a horse. Let's go riding on a horse. see. Hey, Amy from Tucson and Talia and Grayson. Yay. And Aaron and Celia in Connecticut. Yay. Happy. Happy Thursday morning. Let's see where we got. Oh, how many of you woke up to that blue light coming in your window from, from the early morning light hitting the snow? Did any of you have that blue light? I love that. That early morning blue glow coming through your window, coming off of the snow. It's one of the most amazing sensory memories I have in my life is that, yeah, and you're inside and you're, you're, you're warm enough because you're inside, but outside it's cold and there's snow on the ground. And there's that blue, blue, blue light in the early morning. Mm. I love that. Yay. <clears throat> so, I just want to do one thing here. Hang on a second. And then we're going to do this song. And this song isn't from a time of year when there's snow on the ground exactly. But we're going to, going to make it that way for today. You 
you've heard me tell the story of this one, I think. In our house, it was always David, my older son, who was the, the last one awake in the morning. He would stay in his bed until the last minute. And sometimes he would stay in the bed so long, he would actually miss the bus to school. Yeah, we'd have to drive him to school. Now his younger brother Andy would always get out of bed like this. Ready to go. And some mornings he'd come down the hall, quietly open up my, our bedroom door, and come in and climb up on the bed, sit on top of me. I'm pretending to still be asleep, but he's of course waking me. And I'm pretending to be asleep, and he'd look down at me and he'd go, <laughs> like when he was four and five. Oh my gosh. He would wake me so many times that way. Anyway, one morning I got up, out of bed. No Andy jumping on me. He was still asleep in his bed. I walked past his door. I looked at David's door, the blue door, it was closed. I went downstairs and guess who was sitting in the big blue chair reading a book? All by himself, David. He was the first one awake in the house, not the last one that morning. I said, David, what are you doing? What are you doing up? He said, I don't know. He was just awake that morning. <laughs> anyway, he did make it on the bus that morning and he and Andy went off to school and, and uh, I said to Kathy, Later in the morning, I said, do you know who was the first person awake in our house today? She said, no, who? I said, David. She said, no. I said, yes, he was on the big blue chair, right where you're sitting right now, reading a book, reading a book. And we wrote this song for David. Me and the morning, the morning and me, slip out. The only sound is my feet on the floor As I pitter-patter to the bedroom door It's just me and the morning The morning and me Everyone else is fast asleep Even my little brother is not yet awake He's always up first, but not today. It's just me in the morning. The morning and me. Everything's quiet and clear as can be. shines and no other eyes see this world but mine it's just me in the morning the morning and me everything's quiet and clear as can For those of you who have snow on the ground, that blue light morning time. Oh, yay. 
Beautiful blue sunny skies here in Alberta, Canada, minus 27 degrees centigrade. That is some serious cold. And hi from Henry and Shelley in snowy Ellensburg. And hello from Hoofingen. Oh, nice to see you, Birgit. 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 Shireen. Yay. Ah. Yay, nice, nice. Aram and Parsa send their love from snowy Vancouver. It's Parsa's fourth birthday. Happy birthday, Parsa. On the day that Parsa was born, the angels sang and they blew on their horns and they danced. They danced, they smiled, and they raised up their hands on the day that Parsa was born. And Lindsay's friend has her birthday too. Let me see, where is it? It's here somewhere. Yes, her Carol on the day that Carol was born. The angels sang and they blew on their horns and they danced. They danced, they smiled, and they raised up their hands on the day that Carol was born and the day that each one of you were born, whenever day of the year you were born. You know you just, what a miracle you are? Oh, it's a miracle. You are made up of trillions of cells and they all work together. Some of them come together to make eyes. Some of them together come to make a teeth. Some together to make hair. Some come together to make skin. Some come together to make a tongue. It all works. It's a miracle. You are a miracle. And because you were born, you have a right to live a magnificent life and deal with the stuff you're gonna deal with. Stuff shows up. Life is not easy. It's, it's difficult, but that gives you a chance to show what you're made of and learn lessons. Yeah, it's all good. Aida and Rose, cold and rainy Portland. Somehow when it's cold and rainy, it feels colder than when there's really cold and snow for me sometimes. All right, let's see. Okay, so we've been talking about winter and cold, right? So this is the time. Hang on a second. time when it's snowy or it's rainy and it's cold that we dig out our seed catalogs and we start dreaming about what we're going to plant in the garden when it comes spring and summer, right? You sit by a warm fire or by the, where the, where the air's blowing from and, and you, oh, and wait a minute, I got to find something that's not green. Hey, oh, oh, look at all these kinds of corn. Blue, yellow, black, zebra corn. Ah, look at this. And of course, what do we got? Tomatoes. So I was thinking that today, for, and well, of course, we have um, our friend from New Zealand today. It's summer there, so she's got a, do you have a garden? What are you growing in your garden? But for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere where it's winter, we're going to be dreaming about this, okay? Oh, wait a minute. I have to throw another cape out just a second. Hold on. I'm almost ready. Okay. There are 15,000 kinds of tomatoes. Some are red, some are orange, some are green. Some are purple through and through, some are yellow through and through, the striped ones are the coolest I've ever seen. There are 15,000 kinds of tomatoes, with names like Lucky Tiger and Pineapple Pig. Some are small like the Tom Berry or the Little Chadwick Cherry, some are giants, well they're really, really big. They come Americas, but now they're everywhere because the whole world is in love with them and cannot get enough of them. There are 15,000 kinds of tomatoes if you haven't found the perfect one for you with a color and a flavor that you really, really savor. Keep on looking and don't stop until you do. There's the sea bayou from China, the black icicle from Ukraine, the Eisentraub from Germany has a flavor that's insane. 
Italy's coup de bouillie, the Momo Taro from Japan, the Ritz Tigerella is a tasty fella, delicious man, oh man, there are 15,000 kinds of tomatoes, it's a victory for nature and mankind, red, blue, purple, blue, you get our white, a different taste in every bite, if we could find every last one of them, there would be a couple tons of them, come with me as I try to taste them all and find out why the world has 15,000 kinds of tomatoes. Woo! We can dream. We can dream about our summer gardens in the winter, can't we? It's okay. We can do that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. 15,000 kinds of tomatoes. Just imagine how many kinds of bananas there are. We, you, you know, there's the ones that we get on the market. That's the only ones we, we see, usually. But there are all these different kinds of bananas. We have a friend who gave us a banana tree. We live in Southern California, so we can have a banana tree. We have a banana tree, and we put it in the ground, and they give little bananas about this big, but they have a different taste. It's banana but it has a slightly different flavor to it. And I'm told that all over the world where the bananas grow, there are lots of different kinds of bananas with different flavors. Of course, there are the big ones, the plantains, that you don't eat like fruit, you, you cook them. Yeah, all different kinds of bananas and um, apples. How many thousands of kinds of apples are there, right? And celery, there's not just one kind of celery, there's a bunch of different kinds of celery. And lettuce, ho, 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 ho. Anyway, we'll get out our seed catalogs and we'll be dreaming in the winter. Oh, look at this. Look at these squashes. Amazing, cool, huh? What else? I'm sorry, I get excited around these seed catalogs. Well, and then of course there's flowers. Let's put some flowers in the garden. Look at these. Look at all of the kinds of squash and pumpkins in this picture. Right? Oh. It's a miracle. <laughs> So what have you been cooking in your house? Whatever season you're in, whether you're in the Northern or Southern Hemisphere. Oh, Jan says, beautiful Victoria, although we have snow today. Snow's good. Yeah. Um, I, I just made, since it's winter and it's a little cold here in Southern Cal, I made chili the other day and cornbread. And you know what else I made? For our, for our Persian friends, I made fesenjun the other night. It was a pretty good batch. It wasn't the best batch I've ever made, but it was good. It was good. Everybody's enjoying it with rice. Yeah, fesenjun. Oh, if you've never had fesenjun, it's one of my top five things to eat, actually. Yeah. So, if you say, ooh, would you like some fesenjun? I'll say, yum, yum. Right? But that's not what you say in, in Farsi. It's a Persian dish, and they speak... Farsi in, in Iran, and you would say, bah, bah. Yes. So, anyway, what I'm leading up to is this song. It's called Buon Appetito. For all the things. By the way, write in the chat what you have been making that's different. Something you made, you tried out to, to make. Thank you, Yasmin. Bah, bah. You know, uh, write in the chat the things you've been eating that are, that are kind of new and special and interesting. Your favorite things, okay? <clears throat> Something... You, um, something maybe your mom made that was different or special. Okay. And, um, and we'll do this song. So first, you have to learn the chorus. The chorus has different food expressions. If you were sitting down to a meal in Italy, you might say, Buon appetito. Okay, so let's try that. Buon appetito. And you have to open up your arms like this because that's Italians use their hands a lot. Buon appetito. And then we're going to go to Iran. Ba, ba, yum, yum. Then we're going to go uh, to southern India where they speak the language of Tamil. And in Tamil, if you saw you were sitting down to a meal at a friend's house and you're waiting, you know, you don't you want to just dig in. You wait for them to, maybe they're going to say a grace. You don't know, whatever. And if the mom then says, go ahead, eat, it would come out like this in Tamil. Chumasapidinga. Chuma, 
sapi dinga. Chuma sapi dinga, right? And then we're going to go to the country that has the pyramids, Egypt. In Egypt, they speak Egyptian Arabic, and they have an Egyptian Arabic phrase for eating. It's really nice. It says, eat your meal with happiness and complete healing. Use that food you eat to heal your body. Isn't that wonderful? So in Arabic, Egyptian Arabic, it sounds something like this. Belhena wishefa. Belhena wishefa. Belhena wishefa. Belhena wishefa. Okay? So, um, buon appetito. Ba, ba. Chuma sapidinga. Bel hena wishefa. All right, let's try it. When we get to the chorus, I'll sing those, you sing them back, and you do the motions if there's motions, okay? Popcorn, pizza, fish sticks, and fries. Lean clam chowder, hamburger surprise. Linguini with clams, man, I caught vermicelli. Fat crunchy pickles from the second street deli. Chitlins, cracklins, black eyed peas. Chili con queso, that's chili with cheese. Greens, jelly beans, gum yum guy, Peroskis and chutneys and chicken pot pie. Buon appetito. Da, da. Chew a soppy dinga. Bell and a worse fa. Hummus and jicama and honey baked ham. Kiwi and congee. Kebabs made with lamb. lamb. So that's lobster, calamari, that's squid. I've even had octopus. I tried it. I did. Fungi, kimchi, poo boy. Gaina, moamba. I love it, oh boy. Fufu and yasa and plump roasty goose. Kamala's flan and thick chocolate mousse. What appetito. Ba, ba. Chu wasabi. And all kinds of lands made with love and attention by all kinds of hands. Pesto and gumbo and liver pate. Tabasco, chinasco, and chicken satay. Wherever you come from, wherever you've been, pull up a chair and let's dig in. Buon appetito. Bye bye. To my sappy finger. Hell and I worship. Yay, 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 yay. Okay, wait a minute. Before we sign off, we got to just check in here and see what everybody's been up to. They have made lentil potato soup. That sounds good. Raisin walnut bread. Melissa, that sounds delicious. And let's see. Beet soup. Osh. Yes. Ferdows. Yes. Wonderful. And Amy says, Taya says veggie pizza. Taya's almost three and she liked making the dough for veggie pizza. Shelly says, Rosca de Reyes and chocolate. Rosca de Reyes, what's that? Tell us what that is, okay? Fish and chips, Lindsay says. Rosca, <laughs> Rosca de Reyes con cho chocolate caliente, hot chocolate. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. But you have to tell us what what rosca, rosca de Reyes is. Roasted garbanzo beans are your favorite. Sammy says that. And uh, let's see, acorn squash, says Linda. I just gotta wait for Shelly. She's gotta tell us what Rosca de Reyes is or else I have to look it up. I'm gonna look it up while, let me see. Hold on, I'm checking. Let's see what it says. Wait a second. Rosca de Reyes. Oh, here it is. That was easy. What is it? What is it? 
it is it's a it's a it's a bread it's a sweet bread mexican sweet bread celebrating the three kings day oh my gosh hold on a second let me see i'm going to show you this Let's see if i can show you this oh uh, you know what i'm going to hold this computer up i can't do that either hmm how do i do this you got to see this the picture of rosca de res can you see that it's a circle bread wow that's amazing Okay, hot diggity. All right, Rosca de Reyes. Okay, well, you guys, you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and uh, we'll see you next week. And keep on cooking Three Kings Day bread. That's right. Thank you, Shelly. Now, amazing. Did you make that with hot chocolate? That, that, that sounds wonderful. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next Thursday. Have a wonderful January 6th, 2022. Stay safe, stay warm. Love you guys.